DMC's award-winning range of studio monitors delivers unparalleled transparency through advanced transmission line technology. This now includes the new AML2, quite simply, the world's leading high-resolution active near-field monitor. JG Harding here at NEB 2011 uh, with Sound on Sound. I'm here with Jason Ziller, who's the director of Thunderbolt uh, Marketing and Planning for Intel. Uh, can you talk us through some of the uh, new storage solutions coming through uh, because of Thunderbolt's uh, high-speed connectivity? Sure. Uh, yeah, Thunderbolt, by the way, is a high-speed I.O. that runs at 10 gigabits per second, so it's very fast, fastest connection to your, your PC. And uh, so some of the storage solutions that, that are coming out are, the, some of the initial ones, like the Promise one that we're showing inside, is, uh, is a RAID, SATA RAID solution. So it has either four hard drives, or six hard drives, or four SSDs. And uh, so with that, with that bandwidth aggregated, it's actually running, we're showing it running about 800 megabytes per second. Wow, that's So it's actually awesome. faster than any other you know, client storage, a PC storage on the market. So. What, what kind of thing, uh, other than storage as well? I mean, I, I'd assume there's going to be some other products that'll connect using Thunderbolt at some point in the future? Or? Sure, yeah. Actually, at the show here, there's uh, several different media products. So media, either video capture devices, like uh, Blackmagic is showing a, a Ultra Studio 3D box that they just announced, which is able to take two SDI, dual SDI inputs, so basically 3D uh, input, and be able to capture that. Um, uh, Matrox has an adapter solution that plugs into their media box. Uh, a uh, uh, AJA has, has one as well. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of these uh, MIDI media interface boxes need high bandwidth, they need low latency, uh, they need um, uh, time synchronization that, which is built into Thunderbolt. So all of these features uh, allow, you know, it makes Thunderbolt actually uh, a great solution for the uh, media products. And we've seen uh, Thunderbolt's been built into the MacBook Pro, the latest latest version of that computer. Um, are there separate cards available for PCs yet, or is that something that's coming in the future? Uh, there's not currently separate cards for PCs yet. Right now, it's uh, just built into the uh, Apple MacBook Pros. They're, they're full line, they're 13, 15, and 17 inch. Um, one of the other features of Thunderbolt is that it supports both data and display on the same cable. So it has PCI Express and DisplayPort are the two protocols that it runs. And so uh, a computer you know, needs to support the, those, uh, those two technologies. But we expect to see uh, more, more systems you know, with it coming, coming out over time. So. So is there something to look forward to in the future then? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think there's uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of excitement in the industry and we're seeing a lot of uh, product announcements. Uh, you know, we announced the technology six weeks ago and already there's about a dozen companies, I think, that are you know, announcing products and showing demonstrations on the floor here um, with a lot more companies uh, right behind it. So. Yeah. So looking forward to seeing uh, more Thunderbolt connections on the uh, ever more computers then. Thanks very much for talking us through Thunderbolt. Sure thing, thank you.